Coming up on this week, students are planning to mark on the Capitol, the talent show rocks campus, and the students are recognized at the Women of Excellence Luncheon. Welcome to This Week, I'm Michaela. The Council of Student Body Presidents is planning a rally at the State Capitol on Wednesday, April 15th. SGA President Tara Olivier explains what will take place. The Council of Student Body Presidents, which consists of all student body presidents across Louisiana, has invited us to attend a protest against budget cuts, which will take place April 15th at the State Capitol in Baton Rouge from noon to 3 p.m. Your attendance is important to not only SGA, but to show the legislators that we care about budget cuts and how they affect us as students. Please stop by the SGA office for more information or visit the Facebook page, No Funds, No Future. We'll have more details as the event gets closer. Chancellor Bill Nunes released a statement about the upcoming budget crisis. As um, most of you have heard, uh, there is a deficit pending for the state of Louisiana's 2015-2016 budget of over $1.6 billion. That's a sizable sum. Uh, and it's not simply uh, the issue of the abundance of oil and the drop in the price of oil. Uh, it has to do a lot with uh, the lack of revenue uh, that the, the state is, is missing, uh, even though the recession years are essentially over. Last week, the governor identified that higher education would probably encounter about a $211 million cut uh, this next year. Realize that over the past recession years of about six years worth of time from 2008 forward, we had about a $700 million cut in higher education. Uh, LSUE probably lost about $2 million over that time frame. That's a sizable amount of money for a smaller budget like uh, our campus. This, this year, uh, uh, that $211 million uh, has been identified, but actually it really is, uh, in, in true figures, over $583 million. Uh, there's probably over a, a $365 uh, million dollar, uh, tax credit that the governor has included in his package to the legislature seeking their approval of having this, these tax credits assigned exclusively to provide some relief uh, for the cut uh, of over $500 million being assigned initially to higher education. Uh, the problem with that is, while it's well-intentioned, whether or not the legislature will follow it uh, is really the issue at hand. Uh, so we have to prepare uh, for the worst uh, while uh, working towards the, the uh, outcome of the best. Uh, you need to know that the LSU system is working cooperatively and collaboratively in this whole affair, uh, and uh, we uh, expect that uh, we're, we're going to come out of this uh, uh, in, in pretty good shape, uh, certainly a lot better uh, shape than, uh, than we have perhaps in, in, in the past. But it'll take cooperation of a lot of people and, and, and the voices of a lot of people to let the legislature know that higher education uh, is the future for the state in terms of uh, the state status and the economy. And the only way that we will be able to participate uh, in the 21st century uh, economy is if we have college graduates, uh, talented people like yourselves. Uh, so uh, we'll get to a point in time, uh, and this is all being coordinated at the uh, LSU level, uh, system level, with uh, the uh, cooperation of the uh, student and government associations of, of each campus, uh, to try to get the student voice heard. Uh, because here to date, they're the ones who have uh, uh, weather the burden uh, because uh, we may have started uh, in, in years past with probably uh, a budget that had 70 percent state money and 30 percent student money uh, and uh, after the recession it was uh, uh, 60 percent student money and 40 percent state and if we wind up receiving the total crunch of over a 500 million dollar cut it'll probably be 73 percent student and 27% state. 
uh, and we certainly cannot have that happen. Uh, the state has an obligation to help educate uh, its its citizens, uh, and, and, and moreover, uh, students can can nil afford uh, any further increases in their tuition. Taylor Gary, a sophomore from Lake Choros, was recently crowned Miss LSUE. Gary also won Miss Congeniality. First runner-up was Lauren Patton, a freshman from Oakdale. Second runner-up was Whitney Williams, a sophomore from Mamou. While Ruby Luna, a freshman from Basile, was awarded third runner-up. Student government hosted the pageant. Cab recently hosted a talent show on campus. <laughs> God is put a cow at a drum, the E equals not a took a who equals power. I'm feeling like I gotta. Oh, yes, oh, yes, I gotta show me why I am a fire in the fate. I got a lot of. Cap also recently attended the Association for Promotion of Campus Activities Conference in Jacksonville, Florida. The group was up for the National Organization of the Year Award after winning the regional award in November. The group met with the performers and attended education seminars. Now, let's take a look at some important upcoming events. <music> Author Sherry Cohen was on campus talking about her new book about the history of Forest Hill, Louisiana. And another a big interesting thing was that the um, Camp Claiborne was right outside of Forest Hill. And right before World War II, um, half a million people came through their training to go to World War II. And it was also that camp and the others in central Louisiana was the largest peacetime maneuvers in U.S. history. And you know, Eisenhower was there. and um, So really interesting uh, history in this area. 19 students were honored in the university's annual Women of Excellence Luncheon as part of the Women's History Month. Guest speaker was State Representative Ladrika Thierry. Students are nominated by different departments on campus for their involvement in campus organizations, research, community events, or if they have overcome exceptional personal challenges. That's it for this week at LSU Units. We'll be back in two weeks with another look at what is happening around campus. We'll leave you with a little bit more of Chancellor Nunes' performance at the Cab Talent Show. Thank mm -hmm. you.